Let's come back home now. And St John Ambulance in Victoria is launching a community program today to provide life-saving equipment to sporting clubs. They want local clubs to have equipment to give a heart shock because cardiac arrest is more likely during vigorous exercise. Lisa Maximovic is at the Melbourne Cricket Ground to tell us more. Well, good morning. The Heart Start campaign will be launched today here at the MCG. It involves life-saving equipment, defibrillators being provided to grassroots sporting clubs across Victoria. Uh, last year in Victoria alone, sadly, three people died and there were several other incidents on sporting fields as a result of cardiac arrest. Uh, Doug Hawkins joins me here this morning. Uh, Doug, uh, to tell us a little bit more, it was tragedy. It was a tragic event that led to you becoming involved in this campaign. Tell us about what happened. Yeah, it was, Lisa. Um, I was the coach of the Bacchus Marsh under 16 and a half, and um, one of the young boys that I coached there, matter of fact, not just the boy I coached, he was like a second son to our family, grew up with our young boy Ricky, uh, collapsed in a game of footy in a, in a finals game against North Ballarat. Um, we didn't have a defib on the ground at that stage, um, which... Lisa, I'm not sure. Would have would have saved Nathan's life, Nathan Prince's life. I'm not sure, but it could have, you know. But since then, Lisa, the Ballarat Footy League, every club now has a defib, which would be fantastic. And obviously, with St John's Ambulance Victoria now, with the launch today of 100 defibs, I think the cost is about 400 grand. Uh, it's going to be fantastic. So, so Lisa, from a, a tragedy, something good may come of it. Of course, that must have had. It must have been just devastating for Nathan Prince's family, his friends and, and teammates, as you were telling me earlier. But what effect, what impact did it have on your club as well? Well, I think that the club itself, to go through that situation, to see a young boy, you know, at least only three hours early in the back of my car going to a game of footy, having a laugh and a joke and a bit of fun, then three hours later we're fighting for his life. And uh, I think the effect on, on, on the boys, his teammates, was just something you can't explain. Uh, the, the footy club were very, very strong. And I think because of the support of the community of Bacchus Marsh were just absolutely terrific as well. Uh, we, we happened to get through that situation. Um, but, you know, as I said before, Lisa, that, that tragedy, hopefully now that, you know, if we can save one person's life from what we've experienced with Nathan Prince, hey, let's do it. Tell us a little bit more about the Heart Start initiative. Well, it was really a surprise. I, my role was mainly just to come along and, and to be involved and to tell my story, which we're speaking about now. But uh, today I'm sort of helped launching it as well. Um, obviously, with the, the defibs, it's, it's all right to get one of these, but you've got to know how to work them. So St John's Amherst Victoria are going to obviously train the footy clubs who get them. I mean, it won't be just given to any footy club. It'll be clubs that they're going to select... Uh, particularly clubs who, who may need it. And, and you imagine, at least imagine being a, a sporting club, not just footy, could be netball, could be any club, it could be isolated, it could be an hour from a hospital or get medical treatment. Uh, these clubs need something that, that could save someone's life. So that's mainly the role. And just hopefully from today's launch, we're saying John's, it just grows and grows. How many are they rolling out today to clubs? Well, they're going to roll at 100. I reckon there's already been, I think, 10 already been grabbed. So I think it's www.dfibssavelives.com.au. I won't do that again. <laughs> so get online to all the clubs there who, who would love to get a, a DFib to, you know, to be there in case this tragedy does happen on the sporting ground, not just footy, but in any sport that's sort of going around at the moment. So the St John's, thumbs are up, fantastic. Well, Doug, thank you very much for joining us this morning. Uh, the St John's, as we mentioned, launching today, but their goal is to actually roll out defibrillators to every Victorian sporting club, not just football, but various other sporting clubs, so that every one of them has a defibrillator at the club and knows how to use it before 2014. So a good goal. Let's hope they can achieve it. Lisa, thanks very much for that.